Hi everyone, good morning, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is Saturday, March the 2nd. I'm on a little bit of a timeline because my wife and I share an office and she'd like to record some videos for her channel. So with this in mind, I'll try and make this an expeditious solve. In the first three rows, I can repeat a 6, so I actually can place a 6 in box 3. This one and this one force it in one of these two, but this is ruled out. 8. Looks like it works the same way. It does. 8 is in one of those two, which means it'll be in one of these three, but not here. So 8 is useful. And I think that's all I get for... No, oh, I can place a 4, actually. Though That one and that one will force a 4 in the top corner of row 1. So that was a good start. In the middle three rows, it's not quite as fortuitous because they gave me all three threes. And I have one, nine, six, two, eight once each. What about the bottom rows? Uh, two and one. So two goes here. One is going to go there. Oh, and nine is going to go in one of those two. Uh, two, nine, one. If I pretend they don't exist, I have eight, six, five, so I'm done. But... Switching to vertical scanning, these twos mean a two is in one of those two. Uh, four, three, nine, six, eight, I'm done. Okay, this one and this one mean a one is in one of those two. These sixes mean a six is in one of these two, but not here, so that's a six. Which means one of those two, but not this one, so that's a six. Which in turn means that this six and this 6 will force a 6 either here or here. So, even mine, I'm still just placing 6. So I place 1, I place 6, uh, 9 I can also do some work on. Yep, this 9 and this 9 force a 9 one of these two, but not there, so that's a 9. Force a nine, one of those two. So six, nine, one I mean I have eight, three, two. And so I'm done there. In the rightmost three columns, these sixes will force a six, in one of those two. Okay, five is in one of these three. Okay, seven, nine, four, eight. Three, eight, one, five. Three, eight, one. Okay, I can place an eight. So eight there, eight there. Force an eight in one of these. Okay. And I think I'm done with single digit horizontal and vertical scanning at this point. Okay, so what else can I do? Row 1 looks good. I've got 5 through 9 inclusive. I need 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this sees 1 and 2. This sees 1 and 3. This sees 2 and 3. And this sees... Oh, 2, 3. And it can't be 4, so that's a hidden 1. This sees 4, so it's going to be 2 and that. Whoops. This is 2 and 3, and that's a triple. Now 1 means this isn't 1, so that's a 1. Okay, row uh, column 9, which now has 6 digits in it. Is also, is also fortuitous. I need 2, 4, and 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8. Yep. This sees 4 and 7. That's a 2. Which means this isn't 2, therefore that is. And just like that, the triple in row 1 is done. Uh. OK, 
Okay, well, that's a pair. One and three. Which I can't do much else with at the moment. Let's see. Two can't go here, so two goes here. Three, four, six, eight, nine. I need one, two, five, and seven. This is five or seven only. It sees one and two, and this sees one. Okay, that's one, five, seven, and this, unfortunately, can be any of them. Two, four, six. Okay, so th these are two and six and four, so the only even digits an eight. And I see one in the box, so three, five, seven, nine. Not nine, not three, not eight. Okay, I've got an X wing on ones here and here. Not that that does me much good. Column one has one, two, four, six, nine. So I need exactly three, five, seven, eight. No, neither of those can be three. This unfortunately can be. Four, six, eight, nine says I need one, two, three, five, seven in row three. These see one and two. This one does not see three. This one doesn't see a three, that one does. Okay, what else can I fill in? Six, look in there. That doesn't help. Eight looks up, but this could still be eight. Poop. Nine, two, one, five. Okay, two, one, five. Look in those cells. Five could still be in one of these, along with that one. One, three, four, six, nine, and column six. Let's try that one. I need two, five, seven, and eight. Unfortunately, this cell could be any of those. This isn't two, though. Okay, that was not helpful. Uh, in row four, I need some combination of two, four, five, seven, eight. That's four, five, seven. Well, this looks like it's two or five. It can't be four, seven, or eight. Let's see. These are not two, three, or six, so it could be one, four, five, seven, eight, nine. This isn't one. These aren't eight. That one could be four. It's an even digit, and that's the only even digit. It sees one and nine, so three, five, seven are possibilities, but this sees one, five, and nine. Okay, these cells are not one, two, three, six, nine. They are from four, five, seven, eight. See, these are not one, two, eight, no, oh, one, two, three, eight, nine. Let's see, three is one of those. Which doesn't do me a lot of good. Okay, these cells are not six, eight, nine. Okay, both 
both of these see one and three, and that sees a two in its row. These both see one and two in the box. That sees five in its row. Okay. These see five, six, one, three, five, six. So I need two, four, seven, eight, nine. Those are an eight, that's not two. That sees eight and nine in the row. That sees two in the row. That sees two and nine in the row. Okay, these cells are not three, four, six, seven, eight. So they are from one, two, five, and nine. These cells are not one, four, five, seven, or eight. They are two, three, six, and nine. This could still be five, unfortunately. Hmm. Wait, one's there. We know that already, though. Eight and nine are two of these three cells. Nothing else in the row is eight or nine, or the box. One's one of these, two is one of these. Let's see, one's there and nothing else in its column, or its box will count for anything. Five and one are both in here somewhere. Three's there. Okay, so there's some hidden digits I need to look for now. Where does eight go in row nine? It can't go here because of this eight. It can't go here because of this eight. It can't go here because of that eight. So eight in row nine is forced to be there. Which does me no good. But row 8, this can't be 3 because of this. The, this isn't 3 because of that. This isn't 3 because of that. This isn't 3 by a 1, 3 pair, and this isn't 3 because of that given 3. So 3 must go here, which tells me where 9 goes. 3 is going to sort out. This is 6. That's a 2. Therefore, that's a 5. And neither of these are five. Okay, this resolves to a one nine pair, which means those aren't nine. Four seven resolves that as a two before I even need to mark the triple. Okay, five here means nothing else in the row is a five. Um, two here means nothing else in the rows of two. Okay, well, this is a four, five, seven hidden triple because one and nine can only go here and here. No, this is not four, five, or seven. Unfortunately, there's too many places for 4, 5, and 7 in column 3, so I can't do anything else with it at the moment. But, 
what that does mean is where does 2 go in box 5? This is the only place for it. They can't go here, and they can't go here, so they must go there. Which means that's a 2, by my corner marks. This was also a 5 7 pair, which means that's an 8. Uh, by corner markings, that's now a 6. Okay, row 8 and 9 are reduced to a triple. Oh, okay. Oh, 9 could still be in a bunch of spots, but 4 is now, and 4 could be in a bunch of spots. But 5 7 pair, that's now a 5 7 pair in row 3. Therefore, this must be 3. 1, 3. Uh, this is not 3. This 3 means that cell is not 3 in, at the bottom of column 3, so this one at the beginning of row 7 is. Therefore, that's not 3. This is a straight 4, 5, 7 triple, so that will place 3 and 1 in column 5. Okay, this is now a 4, 7 pair in column 3, which means that's not 7. This can't be 4 or 7. That's a one five nine. Oh, and that's a four five seven triple. In column two, so so this is an 8-9. Interesting. Okay, so I've got a 4-7 pair in row 4. That's going to resolve the 8. So this is an 8-9 and not an 8, and therefore that cell is, which means that cell a 9. Uh, this is 1. That's forced to be a 5. This sees 5 and 8, so that's a 7. This is 5. That's 7. It says 8 looking at it, that's a 9. These aren't 7, so that's 4, 5, that's 7. Uh, this isn't 5, okay, 4, 5, 7, that's a triple, which means this is an 8. 7 makes that 4, that's 7, 5, 7, and all I've got to do is just resolve all my triples. And this is going to be a relatively straightforward finish. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. Seven, five, four. And this is not too shabby. Yeah, I just had to look for hidden cells. And once I looked for hidden cells, the rest of it unwound just like that. Well, easy enough. Let me know how you guys did it in the comments, and I have more videos on end screens if you'd like to see more content.